you call? No, I didn't. I was excited to tell you what happened. But, and, and you said you weren't doing anything. Oh, well, then it's a good thing I was telling the truth. Drink? <laughs> no, I'm good. But I, I wanted to tell you I took your advice, and it went really well. It did? You're getting the debate? No, um, but we made up. Like, we actually made up. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's good. And we didn't even really talk about the debate. He, you know, he was, knew I was there to work him, but he didn't really rake me over the coals about it. And he offered a little context, but I, I didn't pursue it because I didn't want to ruin everything with work. But I, I get it. There's a lot of factors at play, you know, business stuff, optics stuff. And uh, it makes sense that Alex is going to do it. You know, can't trot out two straight white women, especially if Bloomberg is going to be up there. You're going to really need diversity to ask about um, stop and frisk. Bradley, you just called yourself straight. Yeah. That's because to most of the world, I am. And why is that exactly? Because most of the time, I'm straight. Isn't it sort of antiquated to try and nail this thing down so firmly? Isn't sexually fluid a, a thing? Is that what you're saying you are? No, I'm not saying I'm anything. I don't define every single thing I do. I'm a sexual person. I once had a three-way with two men. Does that make me a... A, a slut? <laughs> this is not funny. Well, it's not funny to me either. Why are you laughing? Because I am amazed that you have it so easy and you make it so hard. I have it easy? What am I supposed to do? Go into Stella's office and say, uh, I'm a gay bisexual type. I want the debate now. We're talking about a situation where you being different can work to your advantage now. 